So the intro riff and the verse riffs in uh, Blowtorch, depending how you perceive the tempo, uh, you essentially are setting a reverse delay kind of slow. So it's, it's either, depending how you count it, it's half time or like a full bar count for when the repeats come in. And then along with that, a soft delay kind of following that beat of the kind of the pulse of the song. Uh, and then on top of that, obviously, you got your reverb and maybe a little bit of modulation. Say so yeah, with the effects on, I kind of put my uh, pickup selector in the middle to kind of get the best of both worlds, get a bit of the lows and a bit of the highs. Uh, so it sounds like this. So you notice by the time I hit that second chord, the reverse of that first note is kicking in. Uh, so... I'll do it on the next chord. Uh, the chorus, you essentially, with that effect, turn on your distortion and tremolo pick away. Before the very end in Blowtorch, is a very fun riff. Uh, really drastic change of pace in this song to lead towards the ending. Um, so the two guitars are doing neat patterns to follow the unique drum pattern going on. Uh, so the guitar on the left side is doing... Uh, and then the guitar on the right side... It's a lot of fun. Riffy riff. So for the very ending of Blowtorch, you're going to have a bit of fun with your guitar. Uh, so you take your friendly old E. Uh, preferably use your neck pickup if you want more of a beefy tone. Say, so take that old E and you uh, tune it down to match your A. Like so. And from there, you just have some fun with your octave chords.